Welcome to For Eternia Late Night. We have the power. I'm your host, AJ, aka Voodoo Magic, aka Zor. And For Eternia Late Night is the official offshoot of the For Eternia podcast, where we are a little less structured and a little more raw, just featuring real conversations over a potential drink with no official plan on where it goes and where we land discussing anything and everything. So here I am again in the Four Eternia Command Center. We broadcast on YouTube and Spotify and Amazon and anywhere you find podcasts. And I'm so happy to be here again. I have a glass of gin as usual. And uh, looks like I'm going to need some more. And then in my coffee mug, this time I actually do not have coffee. I decided to go for something colder. So I'm drinking a little bit of Coke Zero. They are not a sponsor. I am sad a little, though. Um, I do like this Dark Matter, Skeletor Blood, Masters of the Universe Revolution coffee. And it's no longer available. And I'm down to, like, my last few rounds. I think I have about one cup left in this bag. And it really was good coffee. And the more I would drink it, you know, the more it grew on me. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm so sad to see that go. But tonight, I'm not finishing it off. I'm just having a little Coca-Cola. And we'll see if I get through the night uh, without passing out or <laughs> to, due to lack of caffeine or too much alcohol. Okay, so what do we have to talk about tonight? Uh, we, I think we have a lot of good things to go over, um, especially a San Diego Comic-Con preview, you know, because this week starts San Diego Comic-Con. And that always means big things for Masters of the Universe and He-Man and She-Ra fans. So I think we're going to get into that a little. Also received some letters. I think I'm only going to read one tonight. But first, I want to start out with a community post that was made in the Four Turnia forums. So we have He Dad, a outstanding longtime member of the Masters of the Universe community. And uh, he's also a moderator in the Four Turnia community forums. And he had posted something that uh, caught my eye. So I messaged him and said, hey, do you mind if I read it, you know, word for word on the Four Eternia late night show? And he said, absolutely, no problem. So I'm going to read it now and maybe we should discuss a little. So what he dad had posted was this. The in-laws are staying with us for the weekend. Hooray for me. My wife's grandfather came with him, and he just saw my toy collection for the first time. And you can tell he instantly thought less of me. He called it childish. I know I shouldn't feel embarrassed, but I did. And my face got all red, and I'm angry that I let him get the best of me. This sucks. So after he dad, you know, wrote that uh, uh, community forum post, there were some nice people, you know, trying to cheer him up like uh, Brasco and uh, Artistar. And, um, you know, we've all been there, right? Uh, some handle it better than others, but we've all been there, you know, made to feel inferior for the geeky things that we love. And it doesn't necessarily have to be toys, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be action figures. I was just talking to Shane on the uh, last episode, the Four Turnia podcast, about tattoos, you know? And I was explaining to him that um, the idea that, you know, when I turned 18, tattoos were still kind of niche and they're still kind of frowned upon, you know? They were for sailors, they were for prisoners, but they certainly weren't something that you should put like on your forearms, easily visible for people, and especially, you know, celebrating the geeky things that we love. It just wasn't accepted then. It just wasn't appreciated then. You know, society wasn't there yet. And um, so there's always going to be, I think, with previous generations, you know, some judgment because, uh, they haven't really caught up to the way, you know, today's society thinks. And it doesn't have to be like the toys or the tattoos. It might be a haircut. It might be a, a nose ring, a fashion style. You know, this has always happened through time, you know, through generations. And the older generations are always going to find at least some difficulty with the generation before it. You know, then they're not all forward thinking. And I guess it's just human behavior, but I wouldn't feel bad. You know, 
And I think it's best if we always live by this, this, this motto, right? And the motto is that no one can make us feel inferior without our permission. And just always keep that in the back of your mind. Anytime someone's making a judgment call about what you love, what you do, what you collect, always keep that in the back of your mind. No one can make you feel inferior without your permission. And I think if you keep that in the back of your mind, you'll be okay. And then if someone doesn't understand you, someone laughs at you over it, forget it. Let it roll off your shoulder, you know? So back to grandpas. Would any grandpa approve? I mean, he would have to be a cool grandpa. Would my grandpa approve of this collection I have amassed? Probably not. I mean, he passed away before he can see all of this glorious action figures from Masters of the Universe and some other um, IPs as well. But uh, he'd probably think I'm an idiot, but I never know for sure. You know, I would love to ask him, but he passed away. But uh, you know what I should get? I should get one of those um, Ouija boards, you know, and ask my grandpa, hey, grandpa, what do you think of my collection? Or, hey, you know what? We could do a seance and reach out to my grandpa in heaven and see what he thinks about my toy collection. Um, so how would we do this? Normally, we would have to light a candle. Oh, but we have we have torches on the Masterverse Bone Throne. Let's click this here. Let's pick green. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to turn off all the lights or most of the lights, right? Because I do have a camera for anyone who watches this on YouTube here. Let's see here. All right, now we can do a seance. Let's see here. Hang on. All right. <laughs> now we're going to do a seance. And everyone be quiet at home because we have to use precise concentration when we're reaching out to anyone who's passed on to the other side. And we're going to reach out to my grandpa and see what he thinks about my Masters of the Universe collection. So here we go. All the lights are off. The fake flame is on. The incense is lit. I have no incense. <laughs> but let's just imagine the incense is lit. And let's reach out. Grandpa! Grandpa! Come in, Grandpa! <laughs> it's your grandson, AJ. Can you hear me? <laughs> See, this, this is why you should never drink and do a podcast. But shh. Come in, Grandpa! <clears throat> Wait, I can hear something. Grandpa! Can you hear me? It's your grandson, AJ. I'm calling from the living. <sighs> your living room? <laughs> no, not the living room. The living. Oh, he's like the living room. <laughs> what the hell? Who is this? <laughs> it's AJ, your grandson, AJ. AJ, my boy. I remember you. Yeah, yeah, sure you do. You were always my favorite grandson. Oh, that means a lot to me, Grandpa. Why was I your favorite grandson? Because your name, it was the easiest to spell. <laughs> That's right, A and J. You love that. Huh? Uh, a and J, it was easy to spell. Uh, I don't know. It's not the way I spelled it. <laughs> I spelled it F U. <laughs> Grandpa, that's rude. So what the hell do you want? <laughs> I wanted to know what you thought about my collecting, Grandpa. What you think about me being a uh, Masters of the Universe toy collector? You what now? My toy collecting, my Masters of the Universe toy collection. <sighs> Let me put in my teeth first. <laughs> yes, put in your teeth. Your dentures are very important. All right, they're in. <laughs> so collecting, huh? Well, when I was young, when I was a young whippersnapper, I used to collect rocks. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had all kinds. Big ones, small ones, 
Round one, square ones, black ones, blue ones, sleek rock, shiny rocks, sheet rock, <laughs> sheet rock. <laughs> yes, sir. I, can, I collected them all. Fatties, rocky rocks. <laughs> wow, Grandpa. Uh, I had no idea. You used to collect and used to collect rocks. And what exactly is a uh, rocky rock? <sighs> Uh, <laughs> don't ask questions <laughs> you know i can't answer aj <laughs> all right all right forget that so what do you think of my masters of the universe collecting grandpa that was the point of you know contacting you i mean what do you think uh, masters of the what now masters of the universe you know he-man skeletor man at arms a man with arms? Why wouldn't a man have arms? Man at arms, Grandpa. You want the sauce? <laughs> Actually, I am. I got uh, I got gin, Grandpa. I am on the sauce. Just like your Grandpa, huh? <laughs> yes, I know you used to like drink, too. Um, but back to my point, Grandpa. Before we lose the entire audience here, are you cool with me collecting action figures or are you even embarrassed even in death of what I got behind me here? I would have gotten a girlfriend first. <laughs> I did get a girlfriend. I got a wife. And, um, but yeah, do you approve of me being a masters of the universe collector? I don't need your approval, but I'm just curious. Then, uh, yeah, sure. What do I care? You've always been an idiot. <laughs> now leave me alone. I was resting. Dang nabbit. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Peace out. <laughs> All right. And that was my grandpa. So there you go. Uh, some grandpas approve of uh, Masters of the Universe and toy collecting. And some, some do not. But you do not require anyone's approval. Just do what you love. Holy cow. I can't believe I just did that. All right. Moving on. Now, the highlights of the news the past week is San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, it's happening this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at San Diego, California. And this is the big one, right? This is the big one of the year that has so many reveals, not just for Masters of the Universe, but so many other IPs like Marvel and Star Wars and so forth. But for the past few years, Masters of the Universe fans specifically, they've been able to count on Mattel for a big splash at this Comic-Con in regards to Masters of the Universe. If you remember, in the past few years, they made a lot of reveals there. They made a reveal that Keith David was Hordak and William Shatner was coming to Masters of the Universe Revolution. They didn't, you know, say who he was going to play. Uh, they had the Eternia playset on display. You know, the new one from Masters of the Universe Origins before the crowdfunding campaign was officially announced. You know, it was just a big tease. They had the cartoon collection of Masters of the Universe Origins on display there. So it's it's always so exciting this week. And be honest with you, it's a lot of hard work for me to run fourternia.com with all the news because there's always a news story, one after another after another. And it's like, oh, I get such a headache <laughs> at the end of that week. I'm, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. It's an excited headache, but it, it's a headache nevertheless. So. But so let's do a preview of everything that's going on at San Diego Comic-Con. And it seems like a lot of everything involving Masters of the Universe is front loaded, meaning San Diego Comic-Con, like I said, is Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, that we have some big Masters of the Universe events on Thursday, the first day. I think it's typically the slowest day. Regardless, that's when Mattel is going to be making some big splashes. So let me pull up the Four Eternia news page. And let's see if we can share this on our YouTube stream here. Yes. Okay. And 
and let's first go to that story. Okay, so on Thursday, we revealed on the fourturnia.com news page that Griffin Newman would host a star-studded Masters of the Universe panel. But it wasn't just a regular Masters of the Universe panel. It was an action figure panel. So let me read what we wrote here. By the honor and power of Grayskull. Orko is coming to this month's San Diego Comic-Con, and he is bringing She-Ra, He-Man, and Blade with him. That's right. It has been revealed that Griffin Newman, Masters of the Universe, Revelation, and Revolution's own beloved Orko, will be moderating a panel where he will interview several Motu stars and unveil Mattel's future Masters of the Universe action figure plans right isn't that surprising action figure plans you figured they would just be talking about their experiences in the medium but no and that panel will include the legendary filmation 1985 to she voice actor melindy Britt, he-man voice actor from the 2002 reboot he-man and the masters of the universe cam clark and Blade himself from the 1987 live action film, Masters of the Universe, Anthony de Longy. Wow. All right, so let me read the official solicitation for the panel. It reads, Masters of the Universe Celebrity Interview and Product Reveals. Thursday, July 25th, 2024, 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Time, Room 29 CD. Moderator Griffin Newman from Motu Revolution interviews Melindy Britt, voice of She-Ra, Cam Clark, voice of He-Man, and Anthony DeLogy Blade, where the Motu design team unveils action figure plans for 2024 and 2025 for the honor of Grayskull. All right, so let's decode this, right? Because usually when you have a panel with this star-studded cast, right? They're usually just talking about the shows they're in or the movies they're in. But they were actually also brought in by Mattel to do product reveals. And what does that mean, the Masters of the Universe fans? Action figures. So then the question is, why them? And I think if we ask that question, we can figure out, generally speaking, what figures they're going to be presenting. Because I think each celebrity represents different upcoming figures in Motu. So when it comes to Griffin Newman, I think he's going to present more Masterverse, Masters of the Universe revolution figures, you know? And there's some big ones out there that we want, including that He-Man and Tri-Sorceress Tila that we see at the end of Masters of the Universe revolution. They'd be crazy not to make those figures because everyone loves those designs. So could it be that Griffin Newman is going to be presenting, you know, those figures and maybe some more associated with Masters of the Universe revolution? If you're bringing him to a, like, you know, an action figure panel, and this is what this is partially, um, yeah going to bring griffin newman to discuss the action figures that are related to the medium he was in and now looking at the rest of the actress let's start now with melindy Britt. melindy Britt is obviously the voice of she-ra and she-ra hits her 40th anniversary early next year i know some can argue by the way that her 40th anniversary is the tail end of this year i think there was a book that came out prior to the cartoon, but I think most people associate the, you know, the She-Ra 1985 filmation cartoon and the Secret of the Sword movie as that, uh, the beginning of that 40 year mark. So we'll just say the 40th anniversary is next year. So what action figures is Melindy Britt going to be associated with? Obviously she's going to be associated with she-Ra, right? And there's been a lot of teases in the Masters of the Universe Origins cartoon collection indicating that She-Ra is on the way. You know, we've seen Imp, we've seen uh, Flutterina, we've seen She-Ra teased on these boxes. So I have a feeling that why Melindy is there to celebrate the 40th anniversary of She-Ra and to present to the world that these She-Ra cartoon figures are coming. Okay, who's next? Um, oh, Anthony de Longy. <laughs> I try to pronounce it the French way. I don't know if I'm doing a good job, but uh, who is he? Blade, right? And we all know that um, Masterverse has been doing the Masters of the Universe movie line, right? 
And most recently, we got Evil Lynn. And then we have Beast Man that is actually shipping right now. I got uh, my notice from the the fan channel retailer that I ordered from um, that Beast Man is on the way. So I'm so excited to get that figure. And But we got to look at the packaging. And when you know it, who was teased on the box? Yes, Movie Man at Arms, but it was also Movie Blade. So I think now on this panel, Anthony Delongy is there to actually promote the movie figures, you know, to promote the blade that was teased on the Beastman box and maybe to promote uh, Man in Arms as well. So I imagine there's going to be some movie Masters of the Universe 1987 live action film Masterverse figures on display as well. And that's why Anthony is there. Okay. The final celebrity, Cam Clark. Why is Cam Clark there? Cam Clark is from the beloved 2002 reboot, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. He played Prince Adam slash He-Man, among other things, for that show. And there's so many fans that just love that 2002 series. 2000 and X, as it's called. So what figures will he be representing? It's possible that they're launching a 2000X subline in maybe Masterverse. And that's what we're going to see there. And that's what he's going to reveal. And the other thing might be just the Snake Man. And what I mean is, you know, if you are a fan of that 2002 He-Man and the Masters Universe series, you know that the second season went all Snake Man, went all in on Snake Man and King Hiss. And if you're a Masterverse fan, if you've been collecting Masterverse New Attorney of Figures, specifically Snout Spout, and then if you just saw the preview of the New Attorney of Battle Armor Skeletor that's coming out soon, it's going to be available for pre-order, I think, later this month. You saw a tease of other Snake Man, and you saw a tease of King Hiss. We saw King Hiss teased on Masterverse boxes twice, on the Snout Spout diorama, and on the upcoming New Eternia Battle Armor Skeletor packaging. So could it be possible that instead of a 2000X subline for Masterverse, that Cam Clark is there to tease the introduction of the Snake Men to Masterverse? That could be true as well, because I do believe the Snake Men is on the way. And who has battled Snake Men more than Cam Clark? Nobody, right? So he'd be perfect for a reveal of, of that nature. Of course, again, I want to just say this is all speculation. You know, I have no inside knowledge of what they're going to reveal, other than it's not just a celebrity interview, but it's a product reveal panel. They don't say it's action figures, but come on, you know it's going to be action figures. It's Mattel. So this is something I'm super excited about. Now, later that day, um, Melanie Britt is also going to be doing a character signing. Um, I think it was like an hour or two later. Let me just check that article here. I'm not going to keep myself in a small box. Let me just find the listing. Okay, get a character print signed by Shiraz Melanie Britt at San Diego Comic-Con 2024. And this is actually happening after that Griffin Newman panel that she's participating. So that Griffin Newman panel is from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Well, she's actually doing this character print signing at 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. at Mattel booth 3029. So once again, like I was saying, it feels like Thursday is very front loaded. You can expect a lot of reveals for Masters of the Universe, a lot of surprises this Thursday. And I couldn't be more excited. Now, there is something going on on Friday, and this kind of went under the radar, but I saw it posted in a few places. And this is regards Mattel Television and Rob David. And let's see here if I could pull up the article here. Should I bring it back on? Sure. It says Mattel TV will sneak peek what's next at San Diego Comic-Con 2024. Could the next season of Motu Revelation and Revolution be announced? So let's read the actual solicitation. It reads, Mattel Television, Friday, July 26 at 10 a.m. Mattel Creations presents Mattel TV. 
Unlock access with Mattel Creations. Go behind the scenes with Rob David, VP of Mattel TV content creator for insider info, and maybe a few secrets about your favorite Mattel TV series, including Masters of the Universe Revolution, underline that, Monster High, and Hot Wheels Let's Race. Join us for a sneak peek of what's next. So is it possible that Rob David, you know, the vice president of creative content at Mattel, could it be possible that he's planning to unveil the, you know, the next entry in the Revelation Revolution series? It might be, right? If they're giving out sneak peeks already. Um, it's, you know, it's interesting to note that uh, Masters of the Universe Revolution has already hit its six-month anniversary since it premiered back in January 2024. So one would think that Netflix, that Mattel TV would know by now if the Masters of the Universe Revolution was successful enough to warrant a third season. I gotta think they would know by now. So could they possibly announce it Friday at San Diego Comic-Con? Could Rob David be presenting like the new logo saying, here it is, Masters of the Universe, you know, Redemption, or Masters of the Universe, Rebellion, or Masters of the Universe, Retribution. Could he be like presenting a new logo and just getting everyone excited? And maybe, you know, nothing else. That's all we need, right? All we need is a logo to freak out about, to get excited about. So I'm hoping that this is going to happen. Now, this is just, you know, this is just hope. You know, it's it's Mattel TV at the Mattel Creations booth. And uh, the hope is that, you know, we might get a little tidbit because I think it's time. But I don't know if it's going to happen. You know, I'm just, you know, it's wishful thinking. And I imagine a lot of people, you know, not everyone was a fan of Masters of the Universe Revelation. And I hear you. Um, but it seems like it was a consensus regarding Masters of the Universe Revolution. Everybody loved that show, and everybody wants more. Everyone wants to see Despara come in and reveal herself to be the twin sister of He-Man. So hopefully that series, that third part of this trilogy, gets greenlit, and hopefully Rod David announces it at San Diego Comic-Con. We finished the week with just so much excitement, so much excitement for action figures, and so much excitement for another animated series, you know? And maybe, I haven't heard anything mentioned about Mattel Films, but it'd be neat if we got to learn something about the new Masters of the Universe movie coming out, you know? Now, granted, they haven't started filming that yet, but wouldn't it be neat to see, like, concept art or something like that come out? I would love that. I think it'd be really, really cool. So, you know, all we can do is really wait and see. So what you got to do is, like, stay tuned to beforeeternia.com this week and you know we'll give you all the updates we'll let you know what's going on we'll let you know what figures are being revealed you know we're waiting for also a mondo masters of the universe revelation revolution figure to be announced you know in addition to the skeletor that they released a couple of years ago which is a great skeletor by the way now we're expecting another one and it hasn't been revealed yet i'm hoping it's he-man you know so we have that he-man skeletor counterpart but uh, others would be cool too hordak right that'd be really cool We'll have to see if that um, actually gets revealed at San Diego Comic-Con. And there's always a few surprises as well. Stuff that we didn't see coming in regards to merchandise. And uh, I couldn't be more excited. I wish I was going. Uh, my wallet says no. Otherwise, I would be there. But I'll be there in spirit. And Fortunia will be there to give you all the news. So. So I think that's all we have for our San Diego Comic-Con preview. You know what? I'm going to get to letters next week. I have a couple nice letters that were sent to us. I'm going to read on the um, next Four Attorney of Late Night episode. But for now, we're going to wrap up the show. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this show, please show us your support by subscribing to our streams and our channel. And please give us a like and a comment uh, below. We're able. And you can always drop us a line, too, by sending us an email to foreternia at gmail.com. We really do love the feedback. And as always, you can visit us at foreternia.com for all the latest news and updates, as well as links to our social media pages like X, Instagram, and Facebook that can help you stay up to date with all the Masters of the Universe and San Diego Comic-Con content. So that's it. We would like that. 
thank you all for watching and listening and let the power return we'll see you next time bye everyone <laughs>